What's up, YouTube? Let's talk about these shutdowns, at least in Arizona. Let's talk about my state, what I see, what I'm observing. Let's talk about it. Arizona. The only ones that are suffering right now are bars, restaurants, and gyms. They're closing hiking trails, so all they're doing is forcing <laughs> groups of people into smaller areas. There's just as much traffic on this road. It is ridiculous, if not more traffic than normal. This Tuesday afternoon, I just came through town. It's a shit show. It's a complete shit show. Meanwhile, businesses are fucking going out of business because of this horse shit. Because they're not enforcing it. And I don't want them to enforce it because I don't want my my constitutional rights in, in infringed on. I don't. But look around. There is no shutdown. Why the fuck should my friends' businesses go under? Because of this horse shit stay at home where nobody's fucking staying at home. All you're doing is forcing people into smaller areas. It's not working. Let's talk about what's changed since Doug Ducey introduced the statewide stay at home order. It did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Well, it did nothing positive. So they closed the schools down. Well, what happens when people have their kids at home? They go on vacation. I don't know where the hell everybody's got all this money. But it seems like Arizona done pretty fucking well. That's great. That's great news. Nobody's staying at home. Nobody's staying at home. Everything is just extra crowded. Including the traffic. There's people everywhere. You can't, you can't go camping. There's people camping everywhere. You can't go to the lake because half the lakes are closed. So the ones that are open are overcrowded. And um, you can't go to a bar. You can't go to a bar. I can't go have a beer at my friend's bar. That's illegal. I can't do that. But I can if I want go to a crowded grocery store hang out in there because people are everywhere people aren't at work but they're not at home so everything's crowded more so they've actually made things more crowded it's done the opposite of what it was intended because nothing's changed there has been no stay at home nobody stayed at home not once they haven't so it's done nothing it's done nothing People who live in the popular areas or the populated areas are gonna are, are gonna have a completely different mindset than me. But the stay-at-home order has no teeth. Just like our governor with his yellow tie has no teeth. People need to get back to work. It's been a boom for McDonald's. These drive through businesses are doing great. But the traditional sit-in places are going under. The mom and pops, they're going under for no reason. It's not done anything. It hasn't changed anything. The people that are hanging out in the grocery stores and hanging out here would be less because it would be spread out because everything would be open. So there would be actually less people. But what they've done 
is they've taken people they wouldn't normally be interacting and they forced them into a smaller place. Yes, people are getting sick, but it's not the numbers that they that they've told you. Not from what I've seen. Not in my area. Well, I'm only talking about my area. I realize the media has caused the rest of the world quite a lot of panic. And it's fine. Well, I'm just telling you, in my world, what I've noticed, what I see, because I'm out here every day doing the same thing. I have a routine. I don't go to the store, though. That routine's out because... No, not because I don't want to be around the people. It's because there's way more people at the store now. There's just way more people. People that would be working. People that would be spending money in small establishments. They've been pushed out of there, and now they're here. Because they're not going to stay at home. Unless you physically lock them in the house, they're not going to stay at home. The weather's fucking beautiful. They're not staying at home. Period. Now I realize that's not what this channel's about, but by God, it's current events. I'm not out riding around. Mostly because there's so many fucking people on the road now. I don't want to be out there. I want to stay home because there's exponentially more people out here on the roads now. It's gotten much more crowded since they had the stay at home order. It's not working. There's a trailhead up here. I hike this trail. Or let me let me rephrase that. I used to hike this trail before. The stay at home order forced everybody onto this trail. This is a trail nobody fucking knows about. Nobody uses this trail. It's very, very low use. And there's always 10 to 15 cars in the parking lot. 10 to 15. Where I used to be the only one in that fucking parking lot. It hasn't worked in this state. It hasn't worked. People, there, there it is. Packed parking lot. Packed parking lot. In the middle of nowhere. There's people everywhere. They wouldn't be here normally. I've lived in this area for 24 fucking years. And I've done this job. 14. And my job is very routine. What have I seen different? Lots and lots of people in lots and lots of places that they normally wouldn't be. What else have I noticed? Trucking has gone through the floor because these little restaurants, they're not ordering food. They're not ordering milk. The schools aren't ordering food. They're not ordering milk. It's having a negative effect on everything and nothing positive has come from the shutdown in this state, in Arizona. Nothing, nothing positive has come from it. It's had a negative effect. It's killed the economy. It's killed the small businesses. And it's, if you really truly needed to be away from people, it's done the opposite. It's forced people together. All right, guys, my rant's over. I'm sorry, but I just, I need an event. I need an event because it's gotten just absolutely ridiculous. It's gotten absolutely ridiculous. And the stay at home order has done absolutely nothing for Arizona. Not one positive thing. Only negative things I've seen. Only negative things I've seen. It's had a very negative effect. A very negative effect. Because all the places that would be buying groceries and food, they're not. So there's no demand. The demand goes down. Production goes down. And eventually, it doesn't come back. You're paying $20 for a dozen eggs. You know? They got to open it up. They got to do something real soon. Got to do something real soon. This, this, it's bad. It's really bad.